Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, first, I'm supposed to say, and I got to remember to say it every time I actually need to say this, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And when you do, be sure and click on the little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Okay, now on our last video, um, we had just gotten that uh, brake shackle welded and I cleaned it up a little bit so it could be welded. I had already taken it to raw metal. It's basically real clean and ready to paint. And I promised I was going to show how I paint. Now, this is no, this is not a brag about how well I can paint. This is just showing the method, which really works well for me. Now, let me explain. Um, when I paint, paint small parts, I'm not real particular about the paint I use. Basically, it's more the process than it is the paint that makes it last. The, most spray cans that are out there are pretty good paint nowadays. I like to use semi-gloss a lot on my small parts, but depending on what you want. You may want purple paint, which is just fine. This is black, and it's semi-gloss, and it's a mostly used up can of paint. And I was looking at the part, and it looked pretty rough, so I put a bunch of primer on it. Then what I did is I put it in the oven. That doesn't mean you put it in your wife's oven. It doesn't mean you put it in your mom's oven. It means you put it in your oven and all you use it for is these nasty things like Harley parts that we like to bake. Um, I use my oven for a lot of things. There are things I, I use it for expanding. If I want to put a bearing on something I'm, or a bushing or something, I may want to heat one or the other. Whatever the case may be. But an oven is one of the most useful things you can have around a shop. This is an electric oven. Uh, it's out of, I think, the 1960s. Someone was doing a remodel. It came out of a kitchen they were remodeling. And I bought the oven, which is really an ugly thing. But it's, it goes on and off, and its temperature sets, and its timer works, and its lights work. And I just love it. I've got a total of $30 in it. So I run a real long cord, plug it in, it's 220, and it works. Okay, that was, that was just a real quickie explanation of how to get heat to do this stuff. I do not cook food in there. I do not want the fumes in my food or anyone who's going to eat it. So, okay, I hung the part in here and I heated it up to around, oh, I think around 275 degrees, which is pretty hot. And uh, I'm going to take it out now and paint it. Now, before I put it in the oven, I masked it any masking I needed to do to uh, protect the bushings. And what do we say now? And there it is. So what I'm going to do now is I've already shaken up this can of paint. I'm staying not close to anything. I'm going to get the bottom of it first. And you know, all you painters out there, and I'm sure there's a lot of you, and you all are probably more talented than I at painting. However, all I'm painting here is a small part, and instead of getting a beautiful even coat of paint on it, I'm loading the paint on it. That's the beauty of using all this heat. Because if I load paint on it, and it's, whoa, I did load paint on it, and I made a mess out of it. And you know what? I don't care. I got paint in one of the bushings, and I'll clean it out when I'm done. But there it is, and it's going back into the oven, and we'll bake it till it's dry. And it will be nice. <sighs> there it is. Back into the oven. We'll bake it for half an hour or so. And when I take it out of the oven, it will be shiny and smooth. It will probably dull down because it's semi-gloss. 
but basically it'll be hard like powder coating or porcelain because it's been baked and it will be beautiful. So that's really all there is to it. There's no real magic in it. The ba main thing is bake it until it's good and hot, paint it, let the paint just run on it, whatever you want to do, hang it back in there to dry in the oven. And when it bakes, it'll even all that paint out and it'll be just beautiful when you take it out later and you'll have a wonderful, durable baked finish. So that's really all there is to it. Not much more than that. If I don't like it, I can paint it again, but I believe it's going to look perfect. So until then, see you out on the road.